Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Hey guys, I'm Vanessa. And my name is Paul. Today we have a wonderful video for you guys. Yes, and the title is Christians Should Really Stop Saying This. Yes, you know, us as Christians, we, we, there's so sometimes we just say things just to say it because we hear other people say it, we hear it in movies, but biblically we should not be saying these things. Yeah, and today we have three different phrases that we as Christians should really stop saying. At least try to stop it, you know. <laughs> yes, um, and the first one is we as Christians need to stop saying, oh my God. Yeah, oh my God, you know. When we say, oh my God, we're using God's name in vain. Yeah. And the Bible explicitly say we should not, you know, use God's name in vain. It says that in Exodus chapter 20 verse 7. This is what it says. You should not take the name of Yahweh your God in vain. For Yahweh will not hold him guiltless who take his, his name in vain. As you can clearly see, you know, God does not want us to use his name in vain. Yeah, and taking his name in vain is basically your... What, it, what that means is that you're using his name maybe as a cuss word or you're using his name when you don't, when you're not praying to him. It's like you're just using it in a playful way and God is so holy and he's so magnificent. We could not, we should, um, his name should be something of reverence. We should not just say, oh my God, just because we're, we're, we're just, we're just saying it. Okay, right. oh my God is used in every single situation, in every single situation, and it shouldn't be used so vaguely. Yes, you know, even the Jews back in the days would not even speak God way, God name, and because it was so holy, you know. So today, us as Christian, you know, we should we should apply the same principle. Let me ask you a question: Would you, would you use your mother's name as a cuss word? Would you replace God name, put your mother's name as a cuss word? You will never do that because why? Because you respect your mother. Yeah. So in the same way, you know, we should respect God. You know, sometimes we do things just to do it because we know God is so forgiven. We know God sent his son, Jesus Christ. You know, if we ask, you know, God for forgiveness, you know, God will forgive us. So let's not, you know, take that for granted. You know, let's not try our best to use God's name in vain because we all do it. I do it. It's a struggle for me because it, we, sit, we get so used to say it. And we forget that, you know, hey, we're using God's name in vain. So my advice to you is to just try to stop using it. Yeah, and I feel like what's so hard is because, why is it so hard? Is because everyone in our circle and everyone around us is using it. Yeah. And we see it in movies, we see it on videos, wherever you're, you're going, and even in conversations. Even in the text, when you say OMG, that's like my go-to. Yeah, in social OMG. media, and Facebook, Instagram, we just you see it everywhere. Exactly. So instead, I would try to my thing to even now I'm trying to let go of it. And one thing that I try to do is say, "Oh my goodness!" Instead, yeah. or I've heard my teachers um, back then, like in junior high school, she used to say, "Oh my word." You know, so you could say oh different things. Oh my word. So you could say different things to kind of help you to as a substitution so that you could let go of saying God's name in vain. Yeah, it would not be easy because especially if you've been saying it for years. Yeah. Yeah, it's, if you've been saying it for years, it, this will not be a, a easy things. I've been saying it for years. You know, I mean, so it's going to take a long time, but it's a process, you know, it's a process. As long as we ask God for forgiveness, but don't take that forgiveness for granted. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. The second thing that we have for you guys is I'm living my truth. I'm going to let my wife begin with that one. Yeah. And I've been hearing this um, a couple of times lately as yeah. of late. Um, and it's basically everyone is trying to say like, you know, I'm living my truth. I'm living in my truth. But we know that in the word of God, it says that Jesus is the way, the truth and the life. He's the only truth. And that's written in John 14, verse six. He is the only truth. And what is written in the Bible is the only truth. So it cannot be I'm living my truth. And then Paul is living his truth. Yeah. And then Danica is living his her truth. And um, Janissa is living her truth. Is it really true? Yeah. If everyone has something else, truth is absolute. Yeah. It's something that is holistic. Everyone around us will know that it's true because it's evident. It's something that is 
continually true. <laughs> yeah. So it's when, when somebody said I'm living my truth, you know, you should automatically think that hey, this person is not, you know, living a biblical life. So what what is what what do you mean you're living the truth? You're living your truth. It doesn't it doesn't make any sense. There's only one truth, and the, and we know Jesus is the truth. So we have to apply everything that you know he is written in the Bible for us to apply. Because if we live in our, our truth, that's the vision. We live, we automatically live in sin. So when you say you living in truth, this is not biblical at all. So yeah. I, I I don't hear it all the time, but certain people, certain people, I I guess certain people who's not you know biblically you know sound, they don't read the Bible and they just say things just to say it. But you know, hey, there's only one truth. Jesus is the truth, and we can only get to the Father through Him. So we should try to stop saying these things. Yeah, and I also think it is it's 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 a starting thing because of the fact that um of the new age um religion where yes. they believe that every um every religion is is a lead way to god yeah so it doesn't matter if you believe in islam it doesn't matter if you believe in buddha where um it, all of them leads to one god so this is your truth this is your yeah. truth this is your be truth be careful with the new age religion be and careful this is where it's stemming from yeah. oh i'm just living my truth there's only one truth jesus is the truth yeah he's so the truth. The Islam, the Islam God does not follow is not the same as the the Christian, Christian God. God is not the same as the Buddhist God. So Jesus is the only truth. So I cannot say I'm living my truth, living my or like or you, you can live your truth yeah. and I'm gonna live mine. If then you, it's not truth. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> if you live in your truth, just you're know living that you're a living lie. in sin. You're living a lie. You're living in sin. Exactly. That's, that's, so let's say we're living God's truth. We're living through the scriptures. Yeah, you know? we're living for Christ. Exactly. Yeah, we're living for Christ. That's that's our purpose in life. Yeah, I think that would be the biblical way of, of saying it. And sometimes it's not that the person doesn't read their Bible. It's that they, they just saying it because that's what everyone is saying. Yeah. So they kind of just say it too. But it's not necessarily that they're not reading their Bible. They just don't really see it in that way. So I hope this shares some clarity. Yes. And the third one we have for you guys, what is it? It's I need to forgive myself. Yeah, I need to forgive that's myself. That's a big one. Yeah, that's a, that's a big one, you know. You know. Personally, you know, I don't, you know, say it a lot. I need to forgive myself because l let's take it that way, right? So when we do something, when we do something, we, we, we when we do something that is bad, we feel guilty, we feel ashamed, you know, and we just violate God, God's law, and we should not be saying doing these things, right? So we ask God for forgiveness. So we should not be worrying about forgiving ourselves. Just as long as we know God forgive us, that should be enough for you guys. So so we, you might feel that way. You might feel, and it's fine. It's fine that you feel that way, but just know that you know you only need God forgiveness. You don't need to forgive yourself. As as soon as you you, you know God has forgiven you, and you know, uh, it's a process. When, when when it's a process for you to get back, you know, to the way you know you used to be for for you not to feel these things. So hey, all you need is all you need is for God to forgive you. Yeah, and accepting accepting. Um, or believing that God that God um, forgave you, yeah, yeah. And I feel as though, like, um, like my husband says, sometimes when you finish doing something, you feel guilty. You feel as though, oh my gosh, I'm so ashamed. And some, and a lot of times, Satan will come and whisper a lot of um, negative things in your mind and telling you you're gonna go back to this sin. Yeah. Um, you're still in shackles. You're not forgiving. But then you have to go back to Scripture. And in scripture, where it says in 1 John 1, 9, it says, But if we confess our sins to him, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all wickedness. And we could go back to scripture and believe that if we confess our sins to God with all our hearts, we've confessed our sins to him. He is faithful enough to forgive us. And we don't need to forgive ourselves. We just need to accept the forgiveness of God. God forgave me. And so, that's it. And that's it. Yeah. I'm, 
okay and remember there is no condemnation to those who are in christ jesus i know you guys know this scripture <laughs> yes we've been saying it so many times <laughs> so many times so we don't need to forgive ourselves you know sometimes the devil you know and his demons you know make us feel a certain way yeah and it make us feel a certain way we're not good enough it can you know all these things you know is part of a you know, christian walk so don't you don't need to forgive yourself god only need to forgive you so yeah. these are the three things we have for you guys we hope you learn from it yeah and just as we learn from it yeah just like you know, us saying it right now we're learning yeah. from it while we were planning this we was learning for ourselves so, <laughs> so yeah, this, this is something that we're, we're learning together yeah so this is the thing we have this is the video we have for you guys and we will see you soon take care bye, bye.